just gonna go over with you too, okay? We'll be quick. I know, I, I know you don't want me to, but as of yet, uh, no one has been able to get a sample from 173, so we really need it to uh, figure out what exactly has created it or what it's made out of in its composition. We'll be quick, I promise. In and out. Just uh, maintain eye contact, okay? Okay. And the door is sealed, right? Okay. Um, let's just get started. Um, starting audio log. Zero, zero, 001. The date is July 26, 2021, and it is um, 1600 hours. This is the first audio log for um, SCP 173, and I am Dr. Smith. Okay. Object classification of SCP-173 is Euclid and on its file here I have the special containment procedures for 173 It says they are to be kept in a locked container at all times When personnel must enter container, like now No fewer than three may enter at any time, and the door is to be relocked behind them, which I can confirm that the containment holding has been sealed. At all times, two persons uh, must maintain direct eye contact with 173 until all personnel have evacuated and resealed the container. Uh, that is why with me today, I have SCP-131-A and B uh, who will be maintaining eye contact on uh, 173 while I try to retrieve a sample or specimen of 173 Thank you, you two um, Since 131-A and B don't blink I figured this was my um, best course of action to um, finally retrieve um, a sample of 173 for our research purposes. Okay. It says here for description for 173 that they moved to Site 19 in 1993. However, um, origin is unknown, so we're not sure uh, when 173 was created, where they're from, and I'm hoping that retrieving this specimen will open our eyes and information regarding 173. Now, from observation standpoint, it appears 173 is constructed from concrete and rebar with some spray painting over top. It says here that 173 is animate and extremely hostile. Okay, the object cannot move while within a direct line of sight. You got that, you do? Line of sight must not be broken at any time. Personnel assigned to enter must alert each other before blinking, but since uh, 131 A and B do not blink, we should be okay, right? You do. Right. Okay. 
okay, um, for the audio log, um, object is reported to attack by snapping neck at the base of the skull or strangulation. Okay. And there appears to be a reddish brown material littering the floor of the containment holding of 173. And in our file here, it's believed to be a mixture of um, feces and blood, though the origin of the material is unknown. I will attempt to garner a sample of that as well. Okay, now that we've gotten the formalities out of the way, let's get started, okay? I'm going to put on some gloves here to not contaminate our specimen. gonna be okay. We'll be quick. We'll be quick. <sighs> For the audio log, um, since entering the containment holding of 173, they have remained immobile, <sighs> standing in the corner, uh, statuesque, like it would appear as if, um, there was no life, though we know this to be um, untrue. So I'm going to uh, start by uh, feeling real quick around uh, 173. Have you got that? Okay. Um, it'll be okay. I promise I'll be, I'll be safe. So I'm going to start by feeling One, seven, three, here. Okay. Okay. Since one, three, one, A and B are maintaining a direct line of sight, I'm able to feel the specimen for one of the first times on record. I can verify the composite is what appears to be concrete and uh, rhubarb. Um, though, when trying to uh, scratch away a sample, it appears it's uh, more solid than it looks at first sight. I'm going to have to use a mallet or a hammer to retrieve this sample. Okay. Um, I'm going to feel around uh, the mirror torso here. Um, and to just give it a little tap here. Interesting. Um, for the log, the chest cavity appears to be hollow. Okay, it's fascinating. Alright, and the body does appear to be uh, concrete as well. Same uh, makeup as the uh, head or cranium. Okay, I'm going to Peek here with my light. Right. I'm going to attempt to look into 173's eyes. Um, it's going to be okay. Just don't look away, alright? So, starting eye exam. Interesting for the log, um, eyes seem lifeless. It 
would appear that 173 just looks statuesque. If I didn't read the file, I would assume it was inanimate. There are no eyelids, no response or dilation to the light. When attempting follow the light exam, SCP remains inanimate as long as 1318B keeps staring. appear to be made of stone of some sort, molded or solidified into the concrete. And no reaction or face to my tapping on the eye. Okay. Very good. I'm just going to things, okay? And to retrieve the sample. And we'll get out of here. Okay. I'm going to attempt to see if um, 173 has a heart rate, uh, lungs, or any other systems that we should be aware of. So I have here a heart rate monitor. I'm going to place this on 173's finger here. So, okay. Heart rate monitor is placed and on Next, I'm going to attempt to retrieve a blood pressure from 173. It's okay. It was loud. We weren't expecting it. Okay, I'm just going to put this around the subject's arm. And... For the audio log, SCP has no blood pressure, which would lead me to believe he has no heart rate as well. I'm going to remove the heart rate monitor here, just to verify and confirm no heart rate. I'm going to attempt to listen to 173's um, uh, lung or chest cavity and see if uh, we hear anything. Okay. You guys ready? You okay? Alright, approach. 
approaching 173 and I'm just going to place this up here for the log it's 173 appears statuesque and inanimate but I can't shake the feeling that um it's uh, watching me even though its eyes are unmoving Placing stethoscope on chest cavity here. Um, for the log, I'm not hearing anything. I'm going to give a couple taps on the chest here. There appears to be a shallow echoing sound throughout the cavity, but um, unfortunately that's all I hear. Okay, yeah. I'm going to write down uh, my findings. And then we're gonna go attempt to um, get our sample, okay, you two? Chest cavity appears empty and hollow. No signs of life in the have here a uh, mallet and a chisel. I'm going to attempt for the audio log to retrieve our first sample or specimen of 173. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. He won't react unless you guys uh, break eye contact, right? That's what it says. Just right here. And um, I'm just gonna give it a little whack. Okay, good. There was no response for the audio log. Um, SCP 173 was unfazed by the. Um, I might have uh, broken off a sample of the chest here. Um, um, it does appear to be uh, concrete for the log. I'm just gonna hold on to this. I'm gonna attempt to get a small sample from the skull as well. It fell, but I was able to grab it. Um, so I have a small sample from the cranium as well. Oh, All right. So. Let's 
Lastly, I'm just going to attempt to grab a sample of the reddish substance on the ground. Alright, so I'm just gonna grab my bowl here. Keep eye contact, okay? Alright. Okay. The material felt almost dirt-like or fertilizer-like. I was able to retrieve a um, sample of the appears to be fishy, maybe some dirt and blood mixture. Now, I'm gonna quickly apply a chemical to this composition so I can later study the makeup when I get back to the lab so I'm just going to In the audio log, I've retrieved the samples, and um, it appears we may have gotten everything that we need for now. I'm going to end audio log 001 now, and head back to the lab. This is Dr. Smith. Alright, you too. We've gotten our samples that we needed, and I can further study 173 out of the containment procedure. Um, I'm going to um, unlock the door and back out slowly. I need to follow suit, okay? Here we go. Um, 